Good morning. I'm opening the public hearing at 9.30 a.m. I appoint Victoria Adams to record the minutes of the hearing. I would also like to introduce John Houghton, Town Supervisor of Town of Manhattan. On June 9, 2023, a public hearing notice was published in the legal section of the Times-Telegram, as well as being posted on the agency website. The agency also provided a copy to the CEO of all affected taxing jurisdictions. The following is the published notice. Notice is hereby given that a public hearing pursuant to Article 18A of the New York State General Municipal Law will be held by the Herkimer County Industrial Development Agency, the agency, on the 26th day of June, 2023, at 9.30 a.m. local time at the town of Mannheim, 6356 State Route 167, Dollsville, New York, town of Mannheim, in connection with the following matter. Sunny's Grassy Knoll Solar LLC, the company, presented an application, the application to the agency on August 27, 2021, with application amended on March 23rd, 2023. Copies of which were presented at, at this meeting and copies of which are on file at the office agency requesting that the agency consider undertaking to provide assistance through sales tax and mortgage tax incentives for constructing, equipping, and financing of the above described project, facility and real estate property tax relief in the form of payment in lieu of tax agreement, the assistance to acquire, uh, construct, equip, and finance the facility or to cause the facility to be constructed, equipped, and financed and to lease or sublease with an obligation to lease back or sell the facility to the company or each or such other person as may be designated by the company and agreed upon by the agency. And the facility would consist of acquisition, construction, equipping of a ground mounted utility scale solar generation system on lease property totaling 195 acres located near the intersection of Borough Road and Sabin Road in the town of Mannheim with an estimated capacity of 20 megawatts uh, plus or minus. The project has an estimated cost of 53,335,000 $767 project costs. The project proposed to generate electricity that will allow residents, residential and commercial subscribers to benefit from renewable energy that will offset traditional power sources. A representative of the agency will be present at the above stated time to review the project application and to hear comments and accept written statements from any persons with views in favor of or opposed to either the proposed assistance to the company or the location and nature of the facility. A copy of the application filed with the company with the eight front by the company with the agency respect to the facility, including an analysis of cost and benefits of the project is available for public inspection during business hours at the offices of the agency. A transcript of summary report of the hearing will be made available to the members of the agency. Additional information can be obtained from and written comments may be addressed to John J. Pizik, Jr., Chief, Chief Executive Officer, Herkimer County Industrial Development Agency, 420 East German Street, Suite 101A, Herkimer, New York, 13350, telephone 315-866-3000. Any person, person wishing to make comment is invited to do so at this time. What's the advantage? Please uh, state your name and uh, address and your question or Deborah, comment, really. Deborah Piper, 76 Pearl Road. Uh, what's the advantage to a, a town? Once again, this is just to take your questions and comments. We're happy to answer them at a later time or talk with your town supervisor who could probably give you the answers to that as well. Okay. I've um, been in contact with people from other areas that so far have gone in and there's limits to the acreage and um, instead of such huge 195 200 acres whatever uh, they just limited to uh, less acres because this will never be farmland again thank you Can I comment? You can, sure. Uh, these projects, the town, the town needs growth. 
and this is this is substantial growth to the town. It, it'll help us maintain very low tax rate, which is important to everybody in the town. Uh, we have our zoning. They followed the zoning. They were permitted special permits, so they followed the town zoning. Uh, the biggest takeaway, uh, the statement that it will never back to farmland. These projects have they are bonded, so if something happens, they have a bond. It's very simple. To, we have a decommission clause. It's very simple to decommission a solar farm. They go in, take the panels out, take the panels down, pull the posts out of the ground, and it's right back to farm. That's um, not bad. Well, that, that, I'm, I'm telling you, that's the way it is. It can be decommissioned. So, <laughs> at nine forty five, I declare this public hearing closed. <laughs>